Hey everyone, this is Gary Kay and we're doing a pre-Infocom video cast. I'm joined uh, again with Rick Cordovel, who's the CMO of D10. Rick, how are you? I'm doing great. How about yourself? Good. Uh, we talked before ISC and at ISC, your booth was designed in a bunch of applications uh, rather than just showing the products. And I assume that you're going to do the same kind of layout this year at Infocom? Yeah, the booth at Infocom will be a little bit different than what folks may have seen at ISC, but it's still very much... Uh, solution based. So we're going to take individuals as they come to our booth through the overall hybrid office and from the lobby type experience to individual workstations into the conference room. That's how we've really tried to position it so people can understand how D10 products can be used in, in many different ways. Well, let's jump right into, I know that you're going to tease a little bit of an announcement on um, some improvements and some uh, changes, additions to the uh, D10Me product line. So you have the D10Me and the D10Me Pro. I know that this product was originally kind of viewed as a work from home product, but it has a lot of work from the office applications. Uh, as you can see, I'm going to pop up an image here and, and kind of show you. I mean, there's a lot of, lot of applications for working from the office. As people go back, I think this kind of product, even though it's a personal UCC display, has a lot of potential. Yeah, agreed. And that was one of the things that we saw as we were working with our clients in terms of how they implement their hybrid work plans, that we saw so much potential with, with the Meet Pro. And we've been working really closely with Zoom on our overall product roadmap. And what you may have heard from us over the, the last number of month, months is that you can use the me and me pro and kiosk mode so you can use that for yeah. as a virtual receptionist or to support workspace reservations for any company looking to run like a hoteling or hot desking type of setup but with the three cameras on the me pro it provides a lot of overall capability and one of the themes that we heard at isc was just how more companies are looking at and implementing ai fueled uh, yeah. type of features and this is something that we're excited to announce uh, at, at Infocom, but just around. A I think I know exactly feature. what you're going to announce now. <laughs> I don't want to, yeah. I don't want to spoil your announcement there, but this is going to be definitely worth uh, going to their booth. I've wondered when you were going to do this. Cause I think a lot of people don't know how you're doing the imaging on the DTME. I always looked at that product as being over engineered, but now I know exactly what you're doing. I, I looked at this saying, why did they build this product this way <laughs> when it didn't need to be? And now I totally get it. Now, yeah. once you just said that, I totally get what you're going to have. That's exciting. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Yeah, well, like, I think if anyone's seen D10 products in the past, you know that our cameras and our microphones are you know best in class. And that's something that we're really trying to dial up as we Think about other features and functionalities that we can roll out with our products. Well, one one cool. thing that was really popular, my team came back with uh, at uh, ISC was the onboard. Uh, yeah. The onboard uh, is the most integrated to Zoom collaboration board on the market. I mean, you've got all the, the I mean, it's like basically a Zoom board. Yeah, yeah. We were really excited to work with them over the last number of months to really build out the first purpose-built device to support the new uh, Zoom whiteboard. And it doesn't have uh, a, a camera on it. it. It's really positioned as that companion device for yeah. any Zoom room that you may have had. So if you invested in other hardware, but still want that good whiteboard experience to start to annotate on documents or just start to brainstorm from scratch uh, or as a, a standalone device. So like for huddle spaces that you can have so people can start to share ideas and, and start to collaborate from there. So we're really excited about that. That'll be at our booth at uh, Infocom as well. I, I think a lot of people may not know this, but you're very tightly integrated with Zoom in that um, that's your primary UCC appliance uh, partner. Um, and, and so I think that, that what you have as a differentiator is if you're a Zoom house, meaning if you're a company, uh, an organization, school, whatever, using Zoom, that your products are natively compatible with Zoom and, and are beyond plug and play. They are already there. So you don't even have to yep. do any plug and play. Um, one of those products that I think is the most underrated product you have is called the D10 Mate. Yep. Um, and uh, I, 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 would I, I don't really understand why that product isn't as heavily promoted as, uh, as I think it should be. Maybe I'm, missing the, maybe I'm missing the boat. Maybe you do, and I just don't see it. But I think that product has so much potential 
Yeah, yeah, I, we agree. I mean, I think with both the onboard and the D10 Mate, we are looking to develop products that are interoperable with other Zoom rooms. So you don't have to be an owner of previous D10 devices to take advantage of either of those products. And with the Mate, we're putting definitely a bigger oomph behind it where it's just now supporting PoE. So it, it didn't have that when it first yeah. launched, but for what we heard from a lot of our enterprise customers, just that that was something that they needed. So we're always, you know, polling our clients to, to hear how we can improve our products. And so you'll see an additional push behind that. And the Mate's super cool because it can be used as a scheduler. So you can put it outside a room and you can, you know, book that conference room, invite people to, to meetings right from that uh, 10 inch touchpad, or you can use it as a Zoom room controller. And, and in the room, um, it also, you can support the uh, Zoom rooms for touch. So if you're able to like implement this, this overall device, you can use it to run any meeting that you have. It comes out of the dock, you can pass it around the room so people don't have to get up to implement any of the controls around sharing or starting the meeting or whatnot. Uh, and if you own the, the, the Go, which is another one of our products that supports screen mirroring. So you can start the whiteboard right from that touchpad without even having to get up and be able to, to share what your overall thoughts are or start that overall brainstorming session. So there's a lot of capabilities with the Mate and the fact that, once again, it can be implemented with any Zoom room experience. Uh, we we see that as a great companion to any existing setup. Yeah, and, and definitely, I mean, if, if you're a Zoom house, I mean, you're using Zoom and you've got a contract with Zoom, you've got Zoom rooms. I mean, obviously, D10 is probably the first place to go. Uh, if you check them out at D10.com, D-T-E-N.com, they'll actually be... At Infocom in the West Hall in booth 2555, West Hall booth 2555. I really appreciate you joining me today, uh, Rick. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. Have a great day. Ring, ring, ring. With Ransom.